Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 which is build 16188 was released yesterday Thursday uh, of course installed it and uh, didn't have time for a review yesterday because there was just a little too much of live shows going on but after testing it for several hours today here is my take on the latest build of Windows 10, which is another build for, uh, you know, going towards Redstone 3. Uh, so uh, kind of interesting to see the different little features. So there are a few new things in here that I'm going to talk about. Uh, first of all, about the install and everything. Um, okay, downloaded with a the classic error message that I see regularly only on one of my two machines. That's interesting. The home machine did not give me that error. The pro machine, the one that I'm using right now, I actually did the little error code that I just clicked retry and it works at the second time. Um, install was really long. It took like an hour and 45 minutes solid to really install it. It's kind of a very slow install on this machine. I'm surprised at uh, how long the installs are. Um, apart from that, of course, no problems, no flaws while installed, both on my own machine and my pro machine, so no uh, glitches there. It actually worked really well. And so what's new in this build, actually, is interesting. Um, something that I think is very, very, very cool. Uh, really some improved uh, PDF reading in Microsoft Edge. And you know what? Something that should have been in Windows a long time ago that they are really implementing here. So first of all, when you download a PDF, Microsoft Edge now has full menus. So you can go here on the upper left, for example, check out the table of content. You can actually click something and view it on Microsoft Edge. So this is one cool thing. Um, possibility to really, you know, and not without having to install Adobe's uh, really way too big PDF reader that I just hate. Uh, this is cool because it's now native in Microsoft Edge. So that is really cool for the PDF stuff. You can navigate through the menus, you see the page. You have, of course, all sorts of um, nice little features here. Uh, you can change the layout. Uh, depending on how you want to read your PDFs and uh, you can sh show you know cover page separately you can have continuous scrolling there's different little options you can actually rotate a PDF now because sometimes it does happen that somebody uh, will scan a PDF and the problem is when you scan the PDF sometimes you scan it in the wrong direction and it's like okay it's sideways I need to really uh, you know um, rotate this document so this is really cool um, and you know a really nice set of options what's also cool you can now annotate so for example you can take a PDF and say okay and this PDF uh, I want that person to really take a look at this here that's pretty cool and of course you have all the different options of pen you can say okay and oh by the way it's related to this here check it out it's really really you know the thing to check out and here there we go so you know and you can of course save this as an annotated um, PDF so uh, this is really really cool you can take web notes you can say oh I love this you know of course it's better if you have a pen but uh, you know works with a mouse um, so complete set of annotations available it stays on the document you can of course send the PDF and the annotations will be there a uh, really really nice um, feature of course um, in, in documents that you would share with other people so this is really nice um, also you can highlight parts of the document if you want with the annotations and everything uh, so we've seen also table content for better navigation through a document sometimes you want to go somewhere directly not you know check out everything so you can click on the table of content and go directly to the page that's there um, another interesting and cool thing is that you now have 
also a, a form fill. Now that something that is extremely extremely cool because it was not available for such a long time. One of the most common questions I had probably over the years, how do I fill out a form? Like I don't know how to do it. Well now, here's a form to, 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 to show you guys. You see this form? I can now say, hey, I can actually fill out every little part in here and say, hey, okay, and uh, you know, put the address, um, 123 Baker Street, and so on and of course you can save that and send all of that to um, of course submit the form if you want you can also print it all very full so it's um, really a nice little thing and you know what you could probably uh, even annotate so for example here you have employee signature that um, if, if you need a signature if you have a pen you could probably um, use the annotation and um, basically, you know, just, this is very crude, but you know, I've signed, basically. So everything in one place, that really fantastic feature, okay? I gotta say, this is so cool that I just love it. Uh, and you know, I think Windows should have had that a long time ago. Anything else? Well, yeah, uh, if you're on the enterprise version, Windows Defender actually has a feature called uh, Application Guard. So um, if you are uh, on the Enterprise Insider Preview, uh, users in a fast ring, you can actually go and run uh, the Windows Defender Application Guard to have this running. You gotta go into your, um, you know, turn Windows features on or off, and in the page you'll have uh, the um, annotation guard thing that's going to appear in Microsoft Edge for you know kind of a better safety if you want so that's cool if uh, you want more security in enterprise also um, you can of course you know use that and go for example to a link directly towards an in a window that's isolated or sandboxed thanks to the application guard of uh, course in the settings uh, one of the things that's interesting here is about this new icon now we've got a separate Cortana setting so instead of being mixed in somewhere and not finding it um, you know what I think this is a good idea because if you use Cortana or want to use Cortana the best thing to do is to have all of the settings come here which is nice so Cortana has its own settings now uh, in the uh, this latest uh, version so that's pretty cool also um, of course in the update and security they've had a little icon there's now the ninja, the ninja cat icon for the Windows Insider program kind of a funny uh, little thing to it <laughs> and uh, also they reimagined the magnifier settings page so if we go back we go to ease of access uh, in Magnifier, they kind of reshuffled the page around and I'm just gonna look for a second here because I want to see the um, shuffle on my regular machine. Yeah, it is reimagined and it is very different. It's actually more spaced out, more interesting. It has a few new options also. It's not just sliders, you've got zoom level increments, uh, stuff like that. So they really reimagined the uh, magnifier. So if you have some, um, you know, uh, problems viewing correctly your computer, maybe you have a disability, uh, or you know, old age. I, I I kind of use things like that now because of some you know vision loss because of uh, not just you know um, problems but old age also uh, as you get older in, t in in time. You know, so lots of uh, nice little things that were changed. Of course, in the uh, Windows Insider channel. I'll take a look in more in details as to each of these functionalities and um, you know even show you the difference between the menus uh, like this one from a creator's update until now. So uh, these are pretty much the, the new features and the things that have changed here. 
Um, pretty stable version. I haven't had any crashes, any problems. I've been using it as my main machine since early this morning. So it's been like about six hours of doing pretty much everything I want without any glitches at all here. But then again, there are some things you got to remember. Um, there are some um, fixes of different little things, including um, uh, Cortana reminders now enabled across Windows devices. Uh, there were some problems with that. Um, now, if you want to see the Windows Defender, you can double click the icon as you see here. No more right click. That's nice. Um, localized apps on um, localized x64 windows 10 insider preview builds will not work so uh, we believe this will also address the issue some insiders were reporting of the open and save dialog um, weren't opening and certain desktop programs so this is a fix and i believe this is a problem that affects some people with creator creators update also um, fixed issues resulting in the decreased uh, action center reliability uh, yes, I did have some problems with that. Sometimes it didn't open. Sometimes it had some you know, all sorts of little details. There are some issues. Um, if you go into updating security and recovery, it will not work on non-English builds. So you can't rec recover if you're not in an English build. Surface 3 still needs to uh, remove the SD card. Navigating to update and security and Windows Update might sometimes crash your settings app. So. If you go to the settings app in update and security, it's possible that it crashes. If it does, you just go back, it should be okay. Outlook 2016 may hang or, uh, on launch due to an issue with spam filter getting stuck uh, in the Outlook data file. And in certain cases, start may fail to launch, but launches normally on the second try. So if you click, no start, click again, should work. So uh, these are pretty much what we know is happening here. Uh, so it's cool to see new features. It's cool to see that uh, you know they're working hard on making these builds better. And of course, there are some issues. Like I said, you know you might not want to uh, right away you know install these builds unless you're a, a hardcore you know um, insider like me. Don't forget, you have any glitches that are not already in the glitch list. Uh, remember that you can use a feedback hub, send a little comment there, say, hey, this doesn't work. What should I do? Or, you know, what, 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 you, you got to fix this. And of course, that will help them know what's wrong. Because, of course, there are things that are wrong that they don't necessarily see immediately, but we see, uh, insiders will see, for example. So that's my take on the latest build. Cool build, cool new features. Nice to see that uh, we've got some things to play with. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. If you installed this build, what do you think of the new features? Does it work well? Let me know. It's fun to have your feedback. And thank you so much for following me on this channel.